Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, why do we have bugs? Aren't, aren't programmers in control of their own software? So let's get into it. Well, sometimes that's going to be my answer to this one. Sometimes they are. But for the most part, uh, bugs exist because I th th this question is, uh, is it's very hard for me to, in a fair manner, relay just how difficult it is to program. I don't think you, uh, the person who's answering, I mean, I'm not judging or anything like that. I mean, if you don't know that, you don't know, that's okay. But you can think of programming as being one of the hardest things that we humans do it's by far i'm not saying it's the hardest job in the world because it's not but it is up there among the hardest things that you can do uh, especially when you because unless you are working on something fairly trivial it is all but impossible to uh, to get everything right on the first try or to get everything right whenever you change something. Let me explain. You see, the thing is, although it is very easy to write a few lines of code and get that right, depending on experience, of course, that is not usually how things go. Usually how it goes is the systems that you work with are so big that it's impossible for you to keep everything in your head. And it is all but, depending on, of course, the structure of the code and what you know how everything is connected it's pretty much impossible for you to make sure that what you intend to happen is going to happen and it's also pretty much impossible to know all the time if a change that you introduce somewhere within the system doesn't break something somewhere else and this is where this idea of testing things and unit testing and like all this stuff i mean even doing that even if you were to do that a hundred percent of the time <clears throat> you can still produce a bug by just a sim the simplest thing in the world you mean a bug is just an unexpected behavior there are tons of different categories of bugs even if you have a correct code it might be doing the wrong thing so all i can really say is that no co programmers are not all are i mean they're not in control of the co code they write all the time and i think it should be fairly telling that it is uh, it's fairly calm like i'm not saying that this is a fact or anything like that but it's fairly it's widely accepted that this idea that no no large-scale system is free of bugs i mean that this is a truth this is something that um, unless if you have worked for a while you will find this to be very very true and you see fundamentally it's almost impossible i mean even if you were to try and write flawless software it's it's a give and take type of situation it's a it's a way off situation because when it comes to bugs in software it's actually not that important to not have any bugs because the cost of writing bug free code is so massive that it becomes economically unfeasible to to actually do it then we might as well not do it because it, it is actually that hard to write pretty much flawless software as I said, unless you solve that problem through writing really, really, really small applications or you have almost endless amounts of time and budget. I remember the suggestion from, it was a while back now, a very clever politician had been out there on the, on the media waves and suggested that IT companies uh, should uh, should pay or basically be fined for whenever the software that they have made on delivering to other companies, uh, when that fails, they should be fined and reimbursed the companies who are losing money. And my first initial thought was, yeah, then yeah, then we might as well not write software because there is no IT company there. If there is no IT company apart from maybe the companies who are today already so rich that they could do that, that could survive if something like that happened. I mean, you have to remember, I mean, imagine a consultancy or something like that having to reimburse 
like one of the big massive super corporations for potential loss of revenue for a system that doesn't work I mean or it doesn't work as intended I mean that's the whole idea of patching things that's the whole idea about of uh, providing this sort of stuff I mean I can't even imagine a world where I mean I, I, I can tell you this if that ever came to pass where you're financially responsible for never creating any bugs or causing any type of issue that can cause revenue loss for anybody then I'm gonna switch profession then I might as well be then you might as well be something else but I digress. Anywho, what I want you to take away from this is that no, it is not. I mean, bugs exist simply because it is that tricky to write cre completely correct software. It's not hard necessarily to write correct software for a small application, but it's very rare that anybody who's making any money has made a small application. It's usually fairly big, big things where you have tons of different people all working together on different parts of the code some parts of the code you know well some parts you don't know so well and depending on skill level and all these other really nice chaotic factors your code will work exactly as you want it or so, sort of as you want it and that depends on a lot of factors and even if you do write your own software 100 percent in 100 percent correctly correct manner either you don't have any guarantees for whether or not your code is affecting somebody else's code and what's even worse which is super nice is that even if you have correct code you may still have a bug because it may be that because the stakeholders in your company just communicated poorly or you have a, a different understanding of what the system should do you have a bug from that perspective as well i mean you can change your depending on the perspective either the system is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing or it's doing something incorrectly depends on who you talk to so i don't think it's uh, it's not a matter of not being in control the pro programmers are in control it's just a matter of fact that it is so hard to get the, all of this completely correct that it's all but impossible to not have any bugs just as it's almost impossible to fire a rocket ship into space on your first try you have to have a bit of experimentation a few trials and errors before you can get it right have a great day